The movement of Pico Rivera seniors for rent control for mobile homes is expanding beyond Westland Mobile Park. Seniors at nearby parks are going to City Hall and sounding the alarm on rent increases. And under the hot sun, they are walking their community to rally others to the struggle for rent control. We spoke with Hope Cruz, a senior citizen living at Rio Vista Mobile Park. Hello, my name is Hope Cruz, Hope Garcia Cruz. And I moved here from the East Coast. I have a son-in-law that's very ill. I rented for a while. That's all I could find. And I knew I didn't have $600,000 for the median home, so I moved here to Rio Vista Mobile Home Park, where I looked for five years before there was something available. The reason I moved here is because it's four minutes around the corner from my sick son-in-law. It's very sick. When I came here, I thought I was signing a contract, which I got just shortly before I moved in. And when I looked at the contract, I was very amazed at it and surprised because there's a little dash where there should be the percentage number of what the rent will increase annually. But there's nothing written on it, it's blank. And so I called the management and I asked about that blank. And they told me that it's because it's up to the owner, the, the park owner's discretion to rent, to raise the rent as much as he wants, as much as he needs to. So I moved here three years ago in here, and I was charged the first year 5%. The second year I was here, which was more toward the pandemic, I paid Another, on top of that 5%, I paid another like 4.85% or 4.9. And I paid that for three months. And then I got a notice in the mail that said that I was going back because of the pandemic to the, the original 5% increase. So it has not been increased yet. It's 21. But I feel that it once the pandemic is over, that my rent may go up as much as 9%. It would be including the rent increase plus another increase that I haven't paid. Uh, along with that, my neighbor across the street is crying. I have heard her cry because she's Social Security, like I am. We're on fixed incomes. But, and she lives in a smaller home, but she's getting ready to pay over a thousand dollars. And when she does, she says that, that they're not allowing her to bring in relatives to help her or to rent a room so that she can help herself. She's alone, one income, and she's afraid she's going to lose her home because there's nothing that she can do to make up for that. Me, I'm being charged a fee of $50 to have my daughter live with me uh, monthly. Uh, there's n no one gave an excuse for that, just we're going to put her on there and you're going to pay the fee. Uh, so it's, that's what I, wanna, I want you to know, that uh, there's no control here. There is a lady, Maria Rios, that's fighting for us and she's really advocating that we try to keep it at 2.7, we want to cap it. And that would be wonderful if we could do that. That would be a great blessing to the people that are like me on Social Security fixed income. And it's just one person. We don't have a mate. We don't have two incomes. It doesn't come from anywhere else. Um, like uh, you've been told, we had three people that agreed with us. Back two years ago, I voted. I voted for rent control. I thought I was voting for the parks, but in essence, I found out later that it doesn't affect the parks. It only affects the brick and mortar, the regular homes. And so we were left out, out on the street. And that's where we're gonna be. Um, it has gotten very hard and to raise the rent will be even harder. 
it just it, it's just impossible. I have not been able to receive Social Security. I've tried to I've tried to uh, several times to uh, talk to them, Social Security, and even sending letters to Linda Sanchez with no answers from her. We we need this protection for us as time goes on. I mean, we have that threat that we're going to lose our home. We don't, we're going to be uneasy year by year. If we don't have rent control, what's going to happen to us? You know, how, how big is the, the rent going to go up for us? So we have to live with that uh, through the year to see what's going to happen. And so that's a big, big concern for us seniors. If uh, the rents raise any higher, uh, on top of that we pay all the utilities and we pay, uh, some people pay a mortgage. So if we're doing all that, there's no way. This is quite expensive. So it's not a low, uh, a place for fair housing for people. It's not. We should address it as such because it is not fair housing. And when we vote, we need to be mindful of what we're voting for. I'm going to be very careful this time when I vote. And I want to, to sign for the ordinance for rent control at 2.7 cap and see if we can get that done. I pray so, and I pray that more of you representatives at the City Council will come and help us. We have helped you to put you in place when we voted last, and some people have reneged on their promises. Next, uh, Monica Sanchez. Hello, yes, um, yes, I absolutely support rent control for mobile homes. But when it came time for Monica Sanchez to keep her promise on February 23rd, 2021, she did not. So therefore, so therefore, let me make a motion. The motion is to direct staff to compare this ordinance that was presented with the LA County Supervisor uh, pass ordinance for mobile home rent stabilization and also to see if we can fall under that ordinance, which would mean that would give us the city legal protection because all the administrative work would be there at LA County because they've already created this appeal board. They've already, already created these legal means. We wouldn't have to do that. We would just fall under their jurisdiction. So that would be my motion. Can I get a second, please? Do we have a second? No second. Let's move on. Okay. Do you have a message for the mayor, for Mayor Elias? Mayor Elias. Please, please find it in your heart to take notice of our petitions, all the signatures that we've gotten for y'all, everything that we're trying to do to help these people that don't have work. They don't have work. They don't, how can they afford to pay a rent for the ground, a mortgage for the house, all the utilities, and nothing is being fixed. Nothing is being spent on the park. Uh, we pay for our own homes, our own repairs. Please notice us. Please dig in and do your research. And I praise you for that. God bless. Thank you.